Hey guys, I'm here in Stirling, my hometown, so I'm out doing a bit of shopping as you can see. I'm having a break. <laughs> At the back there is my old workplace, uh, Carlton Cinemas. That's where I used to work as a supervisor. One of the best jobs I ever had. Have a look at this. Lovely fountain, isn't it? And this here, a wee bit of history for you guys. This here is the place where, as you understand, that's the main road coming in from the Bannockburn side, the Falkirk side of uh, Stirlingshire. And this was the main route into Stirling before you came to the old town and the castle. So on this site here, where this fountain is, is where the gallows were, if you understand, because they used to uh, display people hang <laughs> uh, to deter others from doing stuff. That's on the main route, you see. So when people passed by and came into Stirling for the first time, or if they were regulars, you know what I mean? They'd see uh, somebody hanging there and they'd put them off doing any dirty deeds or illegal deeds <laughs> they were thinking about. Well, maybe did they put them off, but uh, <coughs> maybe did they put some of them off, but I probably think it would put the majority of people off. Maybe a lot of people would just about turn and go back the way they came when they seen that side. There's other woods leading into Stirling as well on the other side, and the exact same thing. I showed you the one up, up in my hometown of Dunblane. Uh, there's a Gallows Hill, and that was the other entrance into Stirling from the the north side, from the Highlands. And they've done the exact same there as uh, Gallows Hill, as I just said, and they hanged someone. Now and again, just to excuse me, I've just had something to eat, <laughs> uh, just to put people off, deter people from uh, breaking the law are doing, as I say, is illegal thing. I thought that <laughs> would be a bit of interest for you. But I'll show you my old cinema as well. Carlton, it's Carlton Bingo's, but there's a cinema for now. And then the cinema was upstairs. And as I says to you, it was one of the best jobs that I ever had. Then for the studies. Anyway, that's where I get my my cinema side from my movie memorabilia side, collecting, uh, loving the uh, films, blah blah blah. So guys, I'm just having a break here. Uh, I've just been to the doctor's surgery as I normally do and I'm going to head into Stirling now to do my thrifting. So, catch you in a bit. <laughs> to do some shopping. I used to work in here guys, <laughs> the bottom shop there, it was a menswear at the time, I loved that job as well, it's 
started the orphan business. decor on this is called the Stirling Old Arcade and it's centuries old. I think it was built in the 1800s, the start of the 1800s. It's on the way to the castle. <laughs> This guy is my friend, the Stirling Wolf. The famous Stirling Wolf. I always give my wear up <laughs> when I'm going by him. That's him howling to alert the townsfolk of the city. Here we go. Long check up. Keeps you fit though. Look at the size of this town wall, guys. That must be about 25 to 30 feet high. <laughs> That's what protected Stirling centuries past from the invaders. Yeah, one and you would never go over that wall. Look at the height of it. And it's made of the best stone. Impenetrable. I love all these facts, they're fascinating. I hope you like them as well. <laughs> but if not, you can always skip on. I'm a historical guy, you see. I love Scottish history. I love any kind of history. Any history documentaries on the TV or YouTube. And I will watch it greatly. Old high school. As I said to you in a previous vlog, that used to be the tailors of James. It's either the 5th or the 6th. Used to decide in there. That's what I like about this hill. Keeps the heart pumping. Keeps you fit. I do this once and twice a week, so it keeps me fit and healthy, I hope. Another fact from Colin. A beautiful day it is. Look at the view, guys, when I walk up here. I get great views, I get great wildlife. I say hello to the occasional person that passes by. And sometimes speak to them. And let them know about the history. Look at these big houses guys. That's the King's Park area. I'll tell you a bit about that in a minute. You can gather how it goes at its name. Look at these big fancy houses. Right guys, back to the King's Park. 
you know about the kings uh, not there, the round table. But this whole area here is the forest where the king used to hunt with his knights and whatever. That's why it's called the uh, King's Park. This whole area. Fascinating, eh? That's where he used to go hunting for his deer. Take the big deer hounds and hunt. Yeah, I hope you found that a wee bit fascinating. The King's Park, it's a whole vast area there of, well it used to be forest. It's cleared out now a bit, it's a golf course and that now, so as you can see there's a couple of farms on the outskirts. What a beautiful day. I'm enjoying it today. I'm, uh, I've got the vlogging bug today, I'm talking a bit more than I normally do, I think anyway. <sighs> great to be out. And great to have my taxis all sorted out as you've seen in the last previous vlog. So that's one good thing. I've got my taxis up to date, my income and revenue. So that's it for another year. Now I can get on with making some Earnings, <laughs> more earnings for getting the uh, tax and whatever. As you can probably see, guys, I got a bit of sun yesterday. I think <laughs> really hot yesterday. That was the first hot day we've had this summer. Uh, just like in previous other uh, towns and cities and countries, uh, it's been a bit cloudy and rain showers and whatever the past couple of weeks. But weather seems to have changed now. <laughs> for the better, which is great. It's uh, about the middle of June now, so still got all summer to go. I hope you enjoy uh, traveling as well and uh, going through all these different places of my uh, country and my hometowns, my home cities. I find it fascinating, you know what I mean? So I just think I love in the most beautiful and interesting places uh, <laughs> probably in the UK I think anyway I mean there's probably other people would have their own opinions on that like but everybody to their own know what I mean this is my uh, area and spe special art speciality and historical places so nothing more to say <laughs> Yeah, as I says to you guys, I'm going to be doing some more interior design in my apartment flat, so uh, look out for those vlogs. I've got quite a bit of uh, work to do and I've got quite a bit of planning to do for different things, so it's probably going to be in the next, I'd say in the next couple of vlogs maybe, if I can get the time to go and do it. Uh, today I can't do it. I'd love to have done it today, but I have to go and get some merchandise for my EB shop and I also have to paint more paintings as they're selling out, so busy, 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 as I say, but I love it. You probably gathered, I'm just below the, the ladies rock here, getting a bit of shade. You can see it's bright sunshine and it's been, I walked that hill as you've seen, so I'm getting a bit of cool shade here and there's a breeze coming round the rock, so. I'm happy, and I've got plenty of fluids to drink in my bag here, so I'm all set for today, look at this, isn't they lovely? I get a lot of ideas and inspiration from this area here, with the, see the statues, and the crosses, and the buildings. For my Tudor paintings, I get a lot of ideas, and it gives. If I come up here, I get the vibes of all these past people in the graves, graves here, and it gives me ideas. 
as I said to you, it gives me inspiration. So the inspiration uh, follows into me painting more, uh, what would you say, passionately, <laughs> yeah, passionately. So the paintings come out a lot, lot better. If you've got that feeling in you that you're going back in time, you know what I mean? So that's one of the reasons I come up here and I surround myself with historical things historical people all these people that are in the graves here have all probably had great and interesting lives uh, there's a few graves that I've, I've went and had a look at it uh, and I haven't been into this great detail about them but I just know some of the background detail of uh, some of them there's a vast amount of uh, military uh, graves here this being a historic military castle so I know that for a fact but probably in the future I'll probably get more into that kind of thing into more of that uh, detail kind of and uh, research because I love doing research as you've probably gathered historical research I love it and I've only just ventured into that top cemetery there there's quite a few cemeteries surrounding the castle there's other ones on the other side as well so I think there's the three big ones all together so I find it interesting. <laughs> oh. Just dropped my glasses. <clears throat> anyway, stop the blather and call me. Let's get on with today. I need to go shop. <laughs> Just to give you a wee insight of one of the graves, guys, have a look at this. It says, this one was erected by William M. McGregor, builder in Edinburgh, in memory of his daughter, Helen McPherson, who died the 10th of January 1860-something or other, aged one year and seven months. So, that's a kind of sad... Uh, story there, but that was uh, our father William McGregor. He was a builder from Edinburgh, and his daughter's in this one. So, see what I mean about the history. Uh, he's not far from Mr. McGregor's daughter's grave. Look at this. It just came. It says this one says their children, Marianne, died. 16th of December 1840, aged nine months. This is the children, you see. This is all, all children. But it says 1840 there, 1840. So that's two died in 1840, one died in 1848. And it says both died in infancy. Mary A. Kane, aged four months. Now, in the 1800s, as you probably gathered, uh, life expectancy was short. But all these children. Marianne, James, Catherine and Margaret, another Marianne, and also his grandchildren James Andrew Kane and Hugh James Kane, both died in infancy, and Mary A. Kane aged four months. That's, that's a lot of children, you know what I mean? So this area is quite a, a sad area, so anyway, it gives you, gives you, time to think, doesn't it? 
that's what I was telling you about how interesting it is to find out their past lives but anyway I says I would do it another time but I just thought I'd just let you have a wee insight into that Sorry about the angle there guys, I'm just having a drink of my juice, apple and mango. As I finished shopping so I'm off home and I'll show you these items. I got quite a few stuff from the charity shop so I'm happy. <laughs> just waiting on the chain now. Everybody's in their summer clothes look. Different fair other train station visits this train is for Dumbling Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that vlog there and a lot of those historical facts. So, I'm going to show you what I got today thrifting. It's now in the evening, so I'm going to show you what I bought at the thrifting stores. Now, first thing I bought was a pair of candlestick holders. What do you think of these? I was setting them up for display there. Lovely pair of candlestick holders. Small ones as well. Ideal for the dining room table. Also, I sold this today. This is from another haul. I just thought I'd let you see it because... Uh, it's getting ready to get posted away and I thought I'd show you before it went. Lovely antique teapot. Magic. Next. I got these as well guys. Put them on the, the tartan uh, material there just so that it looks a wee bit better. Yeah. I got a nice couple of pair of goblets. And I also got another pair of goblets. These are great for the kitchen table. A nice silver spoon. Just the one. I wish there was a set, but I only got the one. And a nice, lovely uh, silver bowl. I bet make a, a lovely uh, fruit bowl. So, that was my haul for today, so I thought I'd show you them, you know what I mean, because they'll probably, once, uh, as soon as I start listing them tonight, these are going to go quickly, you, you, just by looking at them, you know yourselves that these are going to sell quick, so I thought I'd show you them before they went, uh, instead of having a, a, a bigger haul of stuff that I normally do, so as I said before in previous vlogs, as soon as I get them and I come in from the shopping, I'm going to try and do a wee mini haul for you, just like just like this, just so that you don't miss nothing. Anyway, let's move on. I'm hoping to do more uh, vlogs similar to today's uh, and a lot more adventures are going to come this way, so <laughs> hopefully. I hope you will join me in watching them. I love making them so I hope you come and watch them as well. Before I forget guys I also got these I got two boxes not just the one I got two I was lucky to get the two boxes of these uh, napkin ring holders. I'll show you one out I'll just set you down here now. Lovely, lovely set guys. 
not convinced. I can never go wrong with these. Lovely air. Sit that down there, let's see it. I'm going to be back out vlogging at the start of this week coming, so uh, there should be a lot more adventures on the way, and I hope you join me in watching them. So until next time, I'll say goodbye.